What's up, sports bettors? I have two incredible NFL bets. One is for tonight, Giants, um, Cowboys, and then one is for Texans Chargers. So was able to find some early value. So might as well go through this bet very briefly. So again, browsing odds on Odds Jam, any sport you want to look at is completely free. You get millions of odds updating in real time completely for free. So you can look for value, right? And always get the best line as a sports better. So what you'll notice is the Texans are best offered at plus 250 on points bet, which actually seems like a pretty good line if you're looking for a long shot money line, right? If you have points bet available to you. And if you don't have points bet available to you, it's still useful. Even if you just have one sports book available in your location, which would be crazy, it's still useful, you know, to look at lines on other sports books. And the reason is, you know, if we only had DraftKings available to us, you can imagine, which I think is Oregon, they only have DraftKings. You know, all I know is I definitely don't want to be betting on DraftKings at plus 215 because everybody else in the market is basically getting better odds than me, right? So you may think you're the best sports better of all time. I can promise you, you will never actually make money in the long run if you're placing bets at plus 215 when there's other sports books offering plus 250, right? There's millions of dollars bet on the NFL. This is a very efficient betting market. You're not smarter than the market in terms of getting 35 cents worse. You always at the core of sports betting have to be getting the best possible odds. Um, so the only line that even looks halfway decent right now would be the Texans plus 250. Pinnacle, sharpest sports book in the world, only giving you plus 230. Betfair Exchange, plus 230. Bet Online, plus 230. Does seem like there's a little value on points bet. So again, browse odds. It's completely free with Odds Jam. So what I ended up going with, though, is the point spread. Texans, plus 6.5. Locked it in right here, plus 100 odds. 500 bucks to win 1,000. Why do we like it, right? This is a positive EV bet. So essentially, Odds Jam has millions of odds kind of updating in real time is it just takes all of the lines and looks for the biggest pricing discrepancies, right? The biggest bets with the biggest profit margins. So essentially, when you keep these recommended filters turned on, you can blindly bet the page on Odds Jam and you're gonna make money, right? You're not gonna win every bet, no one can promise you that, but over the course of a large sample size of bets, because every single one of your bets has a mathematical edge, you're going to make money. This is how the sharps think about sports betting. The pros think about sports betting, right? It's not about winning every single bet. Yesterday, we lost Red Sox first half money line. We won some plays. We won this huge parlay. Everything positive EV, right? Like some wins, some losses, a lot of big wins though. And everything goes up and to the right, but there will be some variance. It's kind of like being an investor where you know you have the edge, right? And this bet has a 1.12% profit margin on the Texans plus six and a half. No other sports books giving us better than minus 105. And you can see pretty clearly the Betfair exchange has this favored and Pinnacle, the sharpest sports book out there, they have the Texans plus six and a half favored. So two of the most efficient betting markets are telling us, hey, the Texans plus six and a half should be favored and we're able to get them plus 100 plus money. So that's value, right? And if, you know, understanding the markets is kind of confusing to you and you're just like, yo, what do I bet though? Just place the bets in bold with a circle around them and that's how you're going to make money, right? Like just place a large sample size of bets. Not one bet, you got to place 100. You got to place 250 and track your profit and loss, right? The thing is, is most sports bettors to win, you know, and be a sharp better betting on spreads and totals, you typically have to win 55% of your bets, right? Recreational bettors, literally blindly picking over or under, you'd be winning 50% of the time, right? The game always goes over or under. So literally your dog could pick over or under wherever it puts its paw is gonna win 50% of the time. So that difference between 50 and 55% of the time is the difference between a rec recreational better or someone who goes broke sports betting for someone who does this full time for a living, right? It's about those incremental increases and in finding these spots with value where the edge is actually in your favor 
not in the sports books. So the sports book isn't making money off you in the long run. You're making money off the sports book, right? So that's the first pick I went with, high profit margin. And it's a volume game, right? Like I try to place as many positive EV bets as I can on a daily basis. So you can see the line's still available. So we'll see if they give me another, we'll see if they give me more money on it. Might as well try. And then we'll go from there. But this is a play I really like. Um, and then you just refresh, right? The market's always changing. So kind of like a, a sophisticated investor, you're always trying to tease out, okay, where's the next good bet, right? So it looks like if we were, if you have points bet, Washington State minus four and a half looks pretty good. We'll see if they take this one. Now for Monday Night Football, I'm rolling with another positive EV play, filters turned on guaranteed profitability in the long run and you can see right here we have Richie James Jr. under 35 and a half receiving yards plus 100 right so 1.41 percent profit margin which if you think about it, it's pretty crazy right this game's tonight at 8 15 so this game's going to be over in roughly 12 hours so we're earning a 1.41 percent return on capital in, a, in, in half of a day. The stock market returns 8% a year. We're earning 1.41% in half of a day. So that's really how the power of these edges can compound in sports betting. If your bets have an edge and you're earning these returns on a daily basis or even possibly twice a day, every half day, right? You place a bet earlier in the day, sometimes on Sunday, you win, you get your money back, you place another bet. So it's kind of realizing once you understand the strategies and the concepts that the pros use to make money sports betting and why sports betting can be so lucrative, it's the fact that these returns, they compound on a daily basis, right? 1.41%. Think about that over the course of a month. That's like 45% if you actually understand sharp sports betting. Of course, it's not that scalable because it's not like you can start betting a million dollars on bets, but it's definitely possible to make a good chunk of change sports betting. Um, I've, you know, been pretty successful at it. So what we can do is see if points bet took the bet. So they're only giving me 250. So it's like, okay. And it looks like they may have moved the line after. So they took that sharp bet. They moved the line. And I locked in this Richie James play as well. So two bets, two sharp bets from Odds Jam, one for tonight. One for the Chargers game, we're up. I think I have to grade one bet as a loss, which is the Red Sox first half money line. We'll see where our profit sticks. We're at 10.4K profit just in the sharp bets I've given out on this YouTube channel. Hopefully we can keep it going. Let's make some money, guys.